Hi, this is Jenny from Coventry. Um, I do Peace Together in a cafe called Coffee Tots. Um, we support um, people on low incomes. And um, I thought it might be nice if we did some paper cutting to make snowflakes to decorate our homes. What you will need is a sheet of A4 paper, a pencil, some scissors and a ruler. Okay, so I have already folded my A4 sheet in half and cut off the bit I didn't need. Along the long edge, I'm going to fold it again and I'm just going to pinch so that we find the midpoint. Then eight centimeters down from the top of the triangle, I'm going to mark, make a little mark that's very, very small. It's there. And I'm going to take the center point, use that as a pivot, and I'm going to roll that side up to there and fold it. Then I'm going to take the other side across so that all of the edges match up neatly. That was slightly less than eight centimeters actually. Right, now the important thing is to fold it again. If you don't fold it again, you end up with some very odd looking snowflakes. <laughs> right, once you've got that, you can take the top off down to the um, bottom point. Right. Okay, now I'm going to change dodgy camera angles. I'm going to draw along one side a line. Okay, I think I'll probably cut straighter than I can draw. I'm going to put a pointy end on. I'm going to do at right angles a little bit coming out. Further down, I'm going to do a little bit further, uh, one that comes out a little bit further. And then towards the bottom or the, or the middle, I'm going to draw something of equal thickness that goes all the way to this fold here. OK, and now we're going to cut out all of this bit. Right. Now, I might need to take it in layers because this paper is really thick. I'm definitely taking it in layers. I've just got my scissors through a little bit of it and then I'm going through a bit more. I should have put some Christmas music on, shouldn't I? OK, so now we can cut the spare away. And I don't know where to put my scissors for the best.
So during lockdown, we all struggled to um, keep ourselves motivated. But I joined a writing group, which was done on Zoom. And actually, that was fantastic. Um, some of the poems ended up being published. And I will, when I've done this, I will read one to you. Right, so just to recap, we've done that, that down the side. This one has met the other fold. These ones haven't. I remember as well that I added a point to the first two. Sticky out bits. Okay, right, we're ready for the da da moment. Then when we open it up, I have to try to do that really fast, so I'm hoping it still translates. Oh, that's exciting. And there we have a snowflake. There are lots of other designs on Pinterest, leaping deer, snowmen, um, but I would encourage you to have a look because um, if you don't rush through and you do it quite mindfully, it's really nice. Right, I'm going to read a poem about courage and hope. Hope is small and vulnerable, like the caterpillar we saw yesterday wriggling across the pavement its body soft, its colour bright, ready to be picked off by a hungry bird. We could have stepped on it out there in the open, unprotected by a crisp shell. Why wasn't it skulking through the cracks in the pavement or hiding in a flower bed? Why was it so driven to flaunt itself in the open like that? Its purpose called it, its purpose changing to reflect where it was at this particular stage of its life. I'm glad we didn't step on it, rewarding its courage with our inattention. I don't know if the caterpillar made it to wherever it was going, but I'd like to think that it reached its destination and its next location in its lifeline, maybe to grace somebody's garden in its final state. And I kind of think that we're in a bit of a dead spot at the moment. It's difficult to go out and do things and we're missing people dreadfully. Um, but there will be a time when the butterfly flies um, again. So lots of love and um, hope you all have a happy Christmas. Bye.